I know. This is weird, isn't it? But anyways, welcome one and all to my music channel. I am Dabble Smith, in case you couldn't tell by the name of the channel down there. But today I thought we would talk about some uh, bass. I know. You know, it's uh, come a bit of a bit of a joke, hasn't it? I just want you all to know that for every bad bass joke that you leave in the comments, a bass player out there cries. So just don't do it. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so uh, recently I was in the market to get myself a new bass because the bass I had before, you saw it in the uh, Dirt uh, video that I did, you know, where I uh, rocked up the Emma Blackley song, Dirt. It was a, uh, it was actually, it was a copy of a uh, Sterling uh, bass. It was a copy of a Music Man bass, this, the Stingray, I think it was. It had the one humbucker with the pit guard and stuff like that. It was done by a company called East Coast, I believe it was. And it was a nice bass, you know, did the job. It had some very cool kind of tones to it. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to upgrade a little bit. I wanted to have a bit more variety in tones and I was looking at Ibanez basses or um, SDGRs it says on the headstock there. You can just, I don't know if you can see that, you can just see it there. There it is, yeah. So yeah, um, I was looking in the market for a new bass and my friend uh, William has uh, two uh, Ibanez basses. He has a four string and a six string. I was just needing a, I was needing a five string because I needed that low, you know, that low uh, B. But uh, I wasn't really needing the high C on the six string bass. But I wanted something that had quite a variety of tonal options. And this, unbelievably, <laughs> and I'm not joking, unbelievably, it's what, 320 pounds? Three, look at this. You know, at first, you know, and, and you play it, and it just does not feel like that. It feels like it would cost something like over £600 or something. It just feels like it's way more expensive. And then when you look at the specs on this thing, it's like, what? You know? So, I'll, I'll run you through the specs here. We have a mahogany body right here. It's quite a slim body, actually, but it's um, it's got lovely curves uh, around here. It's very smooth. It doesn't stab into you, it rests nice against your body. Uh, we got two humbuckers, Ibanez own humbuckers, as you can see they're open coil, they look awesome. Uh, we got your standard fixed bridge there, um, it's Ibanez own brand and it's really quite cool actually, you can see where the strings just uh, get in there, you can see them there. It's equipped with Diodario strings, which is what it was equipped with when I got it, which is awesome. Uh, we've got ourselves here, we have the volume pot there. Uh, this is a blend here, so we can have either just this pickup. Uh, there's a notch in the middle of the blend, so you can have a per an even blend of the two. Or you can have a slight bit more of this, and everything in between, which is great. And it comes with a three-band EQ uh, built-in uh, built in, uh, preamp. So we got... Um, and each one of these knobs has a notch in the middle, so you can have it perfectly blended. So we have your treble, uh, your middle, and your bass. I believe it's in that order, I'll have to check in just a second. Uh, and we've got a switch here, which I really like. Uh, it has three different modes. Every one of the modes in engage has the preamp, so, you know, you just got to keep an eye on that battery back there. But thankfully, it has an easy access battery compartment there. Uh, so, you know, uh, we have the first, when the switch is furthest, uh, closest to you, which is a single coil mode, so it just turns these into single coils, uh, or tap mode as it's called. Then we have series mode, which just treats these like regular humbuckers. And then we have what is called power stack mode, which is awesome, like one of the best names ever, just say that you know, without sounding awesome. POWER STACK MODE! You know, it's just awesome. Uh, which basically gives you uh, all the tonal options as before, but it kind of combines the series mode with the single coil mode, so you get the best of both in that regard. It's very powerful. 
and you get a you get a good boost out of it, I would say. So it's quite a, a cool little sound. I generally just run it in series mode, just to, you know, keep it kind of, you know, level, you know, and not go insane with it. But uh, yeah, that, those are the pickups, and they're amazing sounding pickups. Uh, what else we got? We got a Jitoba, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, a fretboard. Obviously, some sort of substitute for um, for rosewood because of the whole CITES restrictions and whatnot here uh, in the UK and in throughout Europe and stuff like that. So obviously, to avoid any problems with customs and all that, they've swapped over to the Jitoba. Um, and it's quite a smooth uh, wood, to be honest. At first glance, I thought it was bloody plastic, but then I fell into it, and you could feel the grain. And it's a very smooth wood. I'm not entirely sure. I would say that it seems pretty hard as well, so I would assume it will probably absorb quite a lot of um, the higher frequencies, so I'll probably give it a slightly warmer tone. The neck is super cool, just take a look at that. It's a five piece neck of uh, maple and I believe it's babinga, which is awesome. You got Ivan's own brand tuners, which are stable as fuck. So <laughs> yeah, it's awesome and you get this really cool, you, get, you can get it in a couple of different colors. I went with this one, it's kind of like, um, kind of really, it's like a matte finish, but it's got this cool, dark, like black into kind of light blue kind of fade. It just looks really cool, especially in this lighting. Just look at that. Just, just look at it. Yeah. And of course, uh, keep the cost down. It's a bolt-on, but you know what? You don't notice it. You really don't. That is one of the best bolt-on uh, constructions I've ever seen. It just doesn't get in the way. The only thing that gets in the way is this bit here. And even then it doesn't get in the way because it's so smooth you can just you just slide past it. It's so It's so easy to play, you know, so I mean I'm not necessarily a bass player by trade, you know, I don't really say you know, I play bass, but I don't consider myself a bass player. I'm more of a g I am a guitar player by trade, you know, that's my main thing, but whenever I pick this thing up I feel like getting my fucking Mike Baccaro uh, on, or my Les Claypool, you know, the you know, that kind of thing, or just like a chord, you know, so it's such a nice sounding bass, but enough of me talking, let's get some tones. I'll start off uh, with everything notched right in the middle, right, and we'll start off on the single coil sound, just to sink in. So that's both pickups. Here's the bridge. <laughs> Without me. <laughs> I... Now here's just the neck on that. It's great for slap as well. So you get that really nice clarity in the tone when using that. If you want to beef it up, we go into series mode and I'll just blend the two pickups again, like that. It really fattens up. Here's the bridge pickup, just in series. Bleh. So it's quite a cool sound. Very punchy sound. And just the neck pickup, or middle pickup, whatever you want to call it, because it's not even right next to the neck, but you know what I'm saying. So there you 
go. Uh, I'll mess with the preamp in just a moment, but now we go into power stack mode. Which is, uh, once again, we've got a blend between the two pickups, and it's kind of humbucker-esque with, with some qualities of single coil. And uh, just, uh, just listen to this. That's really cool. We go to the bridge once again. Very powerful sound there. I would say that would be really good for like a hard rock metal sound if you put quite a bit of crunch onto the amp. Here's the neck by the way. So that's a really thick, boomy sound, you know. And uh, well, so let's try. We'll go in. What I'll do, I'll go into series mode, and we'll check out some of the preamp features. So, so this is based uh, boosting uh, that bass there. Probably a bit much there. I'll put it back in the notch. We cut the bass out. And then we put it back in the middle, you just... Now we got the mid, so I'll boost the mid. Very good for slap. Cut the mids, you get the kind of... You get quite a warm sound there. We got the treble pot down here. Let's we'll turn that up. So boosting the treble. You get that. You hear that kind of crunch. Very crunchy sounding. Uh, treble rolled off. Probably equivalent of just what you would do with a tone part there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. You can get quite a large variety of tones out of this one instrument. And it's got a nice smooth, uh, fast feeling neck on it. Uh, it's quite thin, you know, as Ibanez necks normally are. And uh, you've got quite a large um, compartment back here. So if you want, you can rip all this stuff out and put your own... Uh, aftermarket pickups in and preamp and all that and also it's quite cool where the input jack is there you can see in there that's pretty cool so yeah that's really cool and uh, yeah so if you are in the market for a five string bass and you know you've got a limited budget why would you not want to go with one of these like seriously now I know I am not being paid to say that I wish I was but I'm not Okay, it's such a nice bass. So seriously guys, give these guys a look. Check them out if you haven't already. Give them a look, because they are da bomb.